Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to remove the Scorpion Saver adware slash junkware slash malware, whatever you want to call it. It's, you know, junk overall. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing to remove this first is I'm going to open up um, CCleaner. I'm going to be using that. I can do it without it, but I prefer to use it because everything's kind of all in one there. Um, so I'm going to first go to Tools here. I'm going to go to Uninstall. And then I'm going to find the Scorpion Saver by Ad Peak Inc entry here. I'm just going to basically just go ahead and run uninstall it first. That's going to going to do uninstall. And it's going to take a little bit to uninstall, but um, there will be more steps to this because it installs itself as an add-on into your browsers as well, which uninstalling this alone doesn't get rid of that. So I'll show you how to get rid of it for your browsers as well. Okay. And then it removed it successfully. And I'll show you in the browsers where um, where you can tell that if it's in there or not. Um, you can also do it with CCleaner, but I'll show you in the browsers themselves in case you're going to be doing this manually. Um, so with Google Chrome, I'm going to go to Settings here. And then go over here to Extensions. And then, okay, it looks like it's actually not there. Um, actually, isn't it in Google Chrome, so that's good. It's a good thing so far there. Let's check in on Explorer. We're gonna go ahead here and go to settings and then we're gonna view manage add-ons. And then yep, I see Scorpion Saver there. And so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that using our C Cleaner program. Gonna go back to C Cleaner here to start up. And first thing I'll check in startup is make sure in Windows that it's not set to start up because sometimes they'll be set they'll set themselves to restart back when you reboot the computer and reinstall itself. So I don't see it there. I don't see it as a scheduled task either. And sometimes it'll be here under context menu as well. But it's not there. So first thing we're gonna do, go to Internet Explorer here, go to Scorpion Saver entry, you're gonna hit disable, you're gonna click it again here, and click delete. And it says, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. And we're going to check Firefox. It's not installed in Firefox, but the process would be the same. In Google Chrome, it looks like just simply uninstalling the program took care of the Chrome one, so that's good. And I recommend, after doing that, um, going to Computer and double-clicking your C drive and going to Program Files and checking to make sure there isn't any Scorpion Saver entry still left in here. If there were, you could just go ahead and click it, put it in the recycle bin, and delete it. So it looks like it's pretty well gone now at this point. Um, let's double check Internet Explorer because it was at, showing as an add-on in there. Let's see. Yep, it's gone from there, so we are good to go. Another thing I recommend doing after doing the removal is going ahead and just Go into cleaner and then just clean your temp file just to make just to get rid of any crap that it might have left behind. And then I also usually do the the registry one here with CCleaner as well to get rid of any you know old registry entry from that could be from Scorpion Saver or you know other junk. So let's see. Yep, actually a Scorpion Saver one came up here under the registry here. And I'm just going to go ahead and fix selected issues. Don't back, I don't need to back that up. It's not something I would want later in the future. Fix selected issues. Close. And yeah, you should be good to go at that point. Um, if you want to just be a um, little bit, you know, give yourself peace of mind, you can go ahead and open up Malwarebytes Anti-Malware and run a full scan to make sure, you know, it didn't come bundled with any other garbage or anything like that. But that should basically take care of it. Um, yeah, like I said, just... Make sure to remove it from the control panel if you're not doing it using CCleaner, and then re and then remove it from the browsers. And you may also want to reset your browsers just in case, in case there's other crap that came along with it. Um, but I haven't really been seeing too much of that. Um, but yeah, and then run a full scan for malware bytes after you finish up to you know just to make sure there's no other junk left over. And then afterwards, go ahead and restart your computer, and you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching.